we're going to go over some common questions that we get about the Dynajet dynamometers. For instance, what is a chassis dyno? Unlike an engine dynamometer, where you'd remove the engine from the vehicle to get a horsepower measurement, a chassis dyno, you load the vehicle up the way it was received. Chassis dynamometers allow us to account for all drivetrain losses, for example, the transmission, drivetrain, as well as the wheels and tires. That all makes a difference when it comes to real-world horsepower measurements. That's what also allows the Dynajet dyno to be the most repeatable and consistent dyno on the market today. What makes a Dynajet dynamometer so accurate and repeatable, and how does it work? At Dynajet, we use the basic laws of motion when it comes to our equipment. Force equals mass times acceleration. We know how much force the vehicle is applying to the drum over time, and we know how much the drum weighs. Each one of our Dynajet dynos is massed independently, and they're all unique in some way. From there, the repeatability and consistency just falls in line. The only variable on the dyno itself is going to be the vehicle. We don't want you tuning our dynos. We want you tuning your cars. What types of dynamometers does Dynajet offer? Well, a few examples we have here at the Las Vegas office would be the 424 XLC2 chassis dyno. This is an inertia dyno with eddy current capabilities. So it'll have the repeatability and accuracy of an inertia dyno, but also has load control. So you can do ramped acceleration files, vehicle road load profiles, step testing, and steady state testing. This dyno is equipped with the link system, which would lock the front and rear drums together for vehicles that have speed balancing issues and can be run bi-directionally in two-wheel or four-wheel drive. We have the Model 250iX in-ground motorcycle dynamometer. This dyno is great for ATV, small UTV, and motorcycle testing. This dyno is also an inertia dyno and has an 80 current brake for load testing. This is an older chassis 168. We no longer offer this dyno, but still has the same capabilities of the other ones with a dyno RRT upgrade. This is also an inertia dyno and 80 current dyno for load testing. And last but not least, the new 250i Red Edition. This is a motorcycle only dyno. This is an inertia dyno with eddy current brake. It has a movable wheel chalk that electronically moves forward and back and also tire clamps down on the wheel. These dynos are all great when used in conjunction with Dynojet products like the Power Vision, Power Commander. So these become a very good tuning tool when it comes down to a shop wanting to use our products for tuning vehicles. Every Dynojet dynamometer can be run in inertia only mode, meaning it does not need the eddy current brake. You can start this dyno off as a 224X inertia only dyno and build it all the way up to the 424XLC. So don't ever think that Dynojet does not have a cost effective solution for your shop's needs. So how do I make money with my Dynojet dynamometer? Well, here's a few examples. One, marketing. Showing customers that you have this equipment is a big deal. They want to see that their car is going on a dynamometer and they're going to get a nice printout at the end of their dyno session. Two, dyno days. Dyno days are great for bringing in new vehicles so you can do diagnostics, horsepower torque runs, and show them what their vehicle's doing. You never know. That might turn into a tuning session or a repair session. Three, using it as a diagnostic tool. You don't have to just tune on this equipment. You can drive a vehicle in the normal state it would be out on the road and maybe find a problem with it. Four, custom tuning. That's a big deal when it comes to Dynajet Dynamometer. People want to see you do their tuning and they want to see it done on a dyno. But I don't know how to tune. Where do I go for that? Well, there's options like the Tuning School. They can show you how to tune on Ford, GM, and Dodge applications. They're even dabbling in the power sports industry. Or you can contact Dynajet with our power sports dynos. We can show you how to use your equipment as well as use our products. So there is a solution for everyone's need when it comes to Dynajet. If you're interested in one of our chassis dynamometers or more information, you can visit us at dynojet.com or you can reach out to us directly at dinosales at dynojet.com.